Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Eric's in his Bradford top. It's, well, Premier League's back tonight. I suspect that that just might have an effect on our uh, quiz figures tonight with uh, Manchester City playing Arsenal. And it sounds like the first match was goalless. But we've got Paul that's going to give us a video report during the course of the night and we'll try and get that uploaded for the interval. So Paul's in his Sheffield it, Wednesday. Sheffield wait, Wednesday, no, Sheffield gonna, United. Is, that, is it going to be on that? Uh, don't know, we'll have to get it working during the interval. We've got Eric here, Joe's is coming in just a minute. Pashley Mega's joined the game. Hello to Pashley Mega joining the game. Um, now, you'll notice on the screen there that um, we, we got to our quiz bit about half past six that uh, you need to register. Now, you, I believe you can log in as a guest, but if you register for the Quizbit account now, uh, put an email in, password, and all that, you'll get a verification link via your email. Do all that, then put your pin in, which is X21514. You'll be all set that you'll have your own Quizbit account for future, and uh, that's the pin uh, for tonight. So I'll give you a little bit longer just in case you're struggling to get on. Wait, so, here. Why are we so the pin Why are is, we small? It's because I can see the questions on here, you see. So don't forget you can email ChrisTevents at hotmail.co.uk. Hey, we're raising money tonight for Leeds Cares, which is a fantastic cause. And Craig Hewitt. Uh, like the teletext message earlier on, he says, can we have page 300 for the sports news, please? I'll have to, hey, we should work on that. What's page 300? Teletext, you won't know. Oh, my goodness, you don't know what teletext is. Oh, there's no yeah, there. There, really. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway. Is there a sports round? Uh, I'll tell you about the round time in just a minute, but you can donate to Leeds mm. Care. So it's a fantastic charity tonight. Uh, they provide mm. uh, a lot of support for the Leeds teaching hospitals, whether it's face masks and other things that they need to purchase. Mm. Why uh, donate it? at leedscares.com for Chris and Eric. Why is there only 11 players? It doesn't matter how many teams there is. Hello, love. What? No, they didn't have any. No, no. Sorry, Rachel was asking if she had the ball. It's Chris and Eric and Jules' quiz night quiz. Wait, so what are the new rules then? No, no, it's just how people have to register. So I'll just repeat it because there's a few people tuning in now. Um, so you, if you go to KW bit, register an account, put an email address in, password, sign up, press sign up, uh, and then you'll get a verification link in your email. Plenty of time to do this, don't worry. So email address, password, sign up. Uh, and then, just one minute, Eric, email address, password, sign up. You'll get a verification link. Click on that, and then when you go back to the game menu, you can put in your quiz pin, uh, which is X21514. So I got it out as soon as I found out about so that. So we're not going to get as uh, usual, like 77, like team. I think the, kid, the football's in tonight. I think it will be quieter. But you know what? We'll all have fun, won't we? And if the Manchester City and Arsenal game is as quiet as uh, the first game, then I tell you what, I don't mean you'd be missing much. I said but you would be 3 nil to show But you are going to provide score updates and um, we're going to keep people informed of the second match Eric aren't we so um, nil nil in the first match Josie's got a gorilla in her hands show the gorilla Chris Gorilla Chris Gorilla is back in town no, no. oh don't tell me the batteries aren't working hang on let's press it again oh no oh it's working don't panic it's working. So we'll probably do round one and then we'll have a little interview, uh, interval. Uh, what are the rounds though tonight? <coughs> I can tell you what the rounds are. Round one is sitcoms, comedies on TV. Round two is fruit. <laughs> that could be random. Uh, round three is a picture round. Round four is around the world in I'm Europe. I'm doing that one with money. Round five is the chain. Yeah. And round six is famous people. So, uh, William Shakespeare. It could be William Shakespeare. After he, all writes, he writes um, The Summer Night's Dream and Lord Small. Dude, he did write Midsummer Night's Dream. He did. Well done, Josie. He's you... called William Shakespeare. Yeah. Never Shakespeare. Yeah, well done. You've been learning about space, haven't you? In school. You could have done a fish round. Hey, I don't think of the questions, but we've got evening to 1D tented. No, don't press that. It's on two screens, so don't press anything, all right? Because uh, we're happy and we've got everyone on the screen. So um, we've got Smarticles that's just joined the game. You'll see the teams there, Eric and Smart Josie. Is. Say hello to Smarticles. Uh, what Who do you think? Smarticles, are in, is that? Different yeah. way, say hello, Smarticles. Yes. Hello to the guests 
that have just joined in as well. There might be a few team call guests tonight uh, that haven't registered. It doesn't matter. As long as you get in, uh, we'll explain the rules again for next week. But, um, Can I go see if the highlights are Come on, she's going to see the Premier League highlights. Mega. Push it. Pastor Mega, hello, Pastor Mega, who's just joined us as okay. well. Uh, oh, guest again, guest again. Guess another guest. So uh, you can email during the quiz at chrissybenson at hotmail.co.uk. That's the address if you want to donate tonight, just giving.com forward slash chris and Eric, chris at 13. Um, mm. So a reminder again, uh, I'll put it in big so you've got plenty of space to see it. We'll start about 20 past eight, we'll give you a little bit longer to find it. Uh, just in case you're struggling to register. Uh, it says you have to register, and a few are registering as a guest. You might, you might be all right. Um, so uh, let's have a look. Oh, Paul's doing a first half report, and he's done a second half report. We'll get them in, Paul. Brilliant. Um, fantastic. Um, so go to KW Bit, register, uh, just put your email address in and password, and then enter your PIN, which is X25, sorry, X21514. X. 21514. Once you've done that, go back to the menu, put your pin in, and you'll be away to go. And you can do this in every I've got other. my Anna pajamas. Uh, you have got your pajamas, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, so, right, I think we're all in. Uh, we're going to start in about 15 minutes from now. Oh, you get, you get comfy. There you go. You can. Can you, can I put the cushion? Yeah, you can't put the cushion on now, so we everyone can see you. So, Josie, do you want to say what the no, pin is again? I don't mean that. Just like, put it on me. Yeah, you don't need to say on me. So, make sure that you've registered, put your email address and your password in, and your pin is X21514. Great to have your company once again. You're comfy now, aren't you? Your pin is 50. No, don't confuse him. X21514. Oh, yeah. Who's X, it, uh, Bertoff, the, Oh, Bertoff. Oh, I couldn't read the next one. I'm too fat. It, it is going quite fast. But fast, isn't people it? who are people who are doing their numbers now just go a little bit slow because we can't read them. Uh, Anne Marie Craven says we are guests one seven two five six eight six. Smarties, you're in now. Smarties, Smarties, so guest, guest. Uh, yes. And uh, mum and dad say, um, what, what, uh, "Is that chocolate? I can see you eating Eric and Josie. That's Grandma Pat." You eating chocolate? Show what you're eating. Yeah. Uh, Lauren says, yeah. struggling logging on tonight, Chris. Don't start with that. We won't. Let us know when you're on, Lauren. Uh, yeah, Daddy, you, Daddy, Daddy, you Daddy. Um, Daddy. Time. A reminder, Lauren, let me just uh, say again. So if you go to KW bit, go down from where it says no, paint. No, no, don't mess with that. No. Um, go down to press, go down to where it says register. Oh, Put your I'm email address in and the password of your choice. And then press Sign up. Then email uh, a verification uh, just when you sign up to other websites, uh, and then if you, when you come back you? to the Quizbit site, you'll be able to bring your pins. So let me know it. when you're in line. It's also means cares tonight. Uh, oh, Trisha says, can we have a registration form for the quiz for from July? Possibly make it. Of course you can, Trisha. We'll get it done what, can I not after read the quiz. Josie, first of all, you can be my saleswoman. Tell her, can you read that message out on screen for us? Yeah. Email Chris. No, that one in white. Start with the big sales push. Sign up. Big loud and proud. Come. Yeah, a little bit of Sign up for the quick little speed fun quiz from Julie Makeup Yogurt. That's near enough. I she knows what she was saying. Alright then. Sign up for the weekly smartphone quiz. From July eighth, just ten per month. Ten pounds per. Why should they sign up, Josie? Why should they sign up, Eric? I'm just saying. So we've only got thirty people. I'm it doesn't matter. Why should they sign up? I'm not doing it uh, because we do great. It was us. Why should they sign up, Josie? Um, because it's fun. Because it's fun. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so there you go. Just Wait, press the right, no, just. Keep it on there. That's it. Right, no, we're all on. Right. No, don't mess with that. Sorry. Yeah, you're all right. Keep it on there. So everyone oh, look, on. choose a round. Oh, why have you got it in that? It's all right. It's good there. We're back on. So 29 teams in so far. Uh, we'll give you another 10 minutes because I know there's a few people take a little bit longer this week. So your pin is X21514. Well, it's called Man City. City. And then there's going to be a lot of goals. Well, we'll find out in a little bit. 
So, sign up uh, from July the 8th, as Trisha has just mentioned it, tonight. Uh, if you'd like to be in touch with Chrissy Benson, what can you get for £2.50 a week, Eric? Can you get Match of the Day magazine for that, can you? Well, you I can't know. get much for two fifty a week. No, that is all it is. Two fifty a week. What can you get for two fifty? I know. What I can know. you buy? Uh, you can buy a sweet uh, two packs of match attacks. What well, are they? Oh, two packs of match attacks. You can buy. Please. You can buy a candle for your wife. Buy a candle. Can, can I tell? Oh, can I tell well, that? Yeah, and put you the on, I'll take that message off to Bill Steer. Yeah? There you go, Joyce. They can see you now. Yeah, don't mess with the mouse, that's it. See. Yeah, no, no, leave them there because it's on. Go on. I say what you want to say, you're all right. Uh, oh, do you want to read that one out, Josie? Um, uh, what's this? Richard and Ryan. Hi, Chris. Wizbly Wobblers. Wizbly Wobblers. In a Reddit 2 quiz. Pussy. Yes. Come on, P. Lauren. Get logged on. Richard and Kristen. Some. You want to give um, Richard and Kristen but, away for us? Uh, hello, Richard and Kristen. So, Kristen? I'm, I'm gonna, oh, no, don't no, mess with that, yeah, I that's wanna, it. Sorry. What are you want to do? Oh, you want to read the teams? Yes, oh, she can. It might. No, Let's I see can't. how you're like, oh, it's not, it's a new screen, so we don't get to see all the team names. Muppets! But we've Muppets. got the Muppets, what other team names have we got? Josie, read one out. I'm not reading one, because you're not letting I know, but you can only see so many now. So who have we got at the bottom there? We've got... The Bertoffs. Hello, the Bertoffs. Who's that one, Eric? Twenty LC. Twenty LC. Who else have we got, Josie? Ashton I'd like Josie read one. Who else have we got? Josie? Um, we've got the, 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 um, we've got Lone uh, Drinker. Got... Lone Drinker we have, yeah. We've got Nothing Chance Junior. No effing Chance Junior we have. We've got we've the got Buckles the as well. So... Lone Drinker. Oh, Daddy, there's a new one at the bottom. Alright. Uh, Daddy, there's a new one at the there bottom. There is, it's another guest. So it's, it seems to be letting you play as a guest, which is good. That's good, and we can. Wait, uh, and can, can um, someone put Butterfly Gang? Butterfly Gang? Yeah, please. There you go. Josie says one of your teams should be called Butterfly Gang. Yeah, please, go. one of you, just one of you. And please, just can Auntie Sarah call? No, not at that, not that. Just someone, Carol and Tony. Carol and Tony call you the Butterfly Gang. And I'll see you on the screen. Well, it seems to be letting you register as a guest, which is good. So if you, want to, if you make sure you go to KWBit, your pin is X21514. Daddy, why is it good? If you need any extra time, we'll start at 20 past 8. If you need any extra time and you're struggling, drop me an email at chrissybenson at hotmail.co.uk. Daddy, why is it good? Area. I don't get it. Why it's is it good? Because we don't know who the team name is. It doesn't matter. For, we need, the main thing is everyone's in, isn't it? That's the main thing. And we can. Um, Wait, what is that? Score? Anyway, it's a bit. Yeah, of the eye. I'm sure during the course of the night you can tell me what your numbers are. Anyway, so Daddy, although why today goes deep as Erin, I my drink of choice tonight is a Mondo Brewing Co. Uh, pale. Oi, 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 oi! It's orange juice. Um, can someone else put? Of it's orange juice. I just said someone put the butterfly gang. Please, please. Oh, I'll kill you. I don't think you can say that. But anyway. Um, no. Right, well, something might register the butterfly gang. We're gonna, we'll give you until about 20 past 8. So if there's anybody else that, if you want to tell your friends, uh, if you're anyone struggling yeah, to log in, drop me an email me. if you need more time. And just in a moment, we will check the score. On, so we've got Tony DLC, we've got Ashley Mega, we've got another team just standing in now, another guest that's fantastic. Also, we have someone, 13 someone, teams, which is not bad for someone put the Leave that rubbish. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I mean, someone put Bradford is the Holy Spirit. So we'll probably pause for an interval <laughs> after the first round. Uh, Eric, you can answer to your question. The football doesn't kick off till quarter past eight. Wait, I thought it was five past No, no, don't mess that. Yeah, that's it. You said it was eight. No, it kicks off at quarter past. Uh, so, oh, what's. Uh, so. A reminder again, your pin is... Wait, are they on yet? Your reminder is your pin is X21514. That's X21514. Register, enter your pin right now. You've got plenty of time. And once you've registered, it'll be easy to log in for future. And then when for those the subscribers the... join you, I'll be able to send you the game links via email. The pin is... Or new website. The pin is sausage beans splat your poo 
on the face. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it is. It is da it's daddy drinks a lot. Just do that thing on your phone when you've got that. Right? No, no, I'm not. Down the middle, please. No, I'm not doing anything. Right, we've got 38 teams lined up. Uh, we're going to start. So a, rem a reminder of the round. Sitcoms first. Fruit. Then picture round. Then famous P. Oh, no. Then round of Europe. Then the chain. And then uh, famous Thanks. people to come. Guys, guys, just be quiet a minute. No. Uh, no, guys, be quiet. Tony says only letting this sign in as a guest. No name. Don't worry, Tony. The main thing is you're in, and I can I'll communicate with you during the week, and we'll Tony, get it sorted for next week. I'm giving you an answer. Have you got your name of you, the team? And do a message saying I have or I haven't to me. And also, if you have not got your team, then then put Butterfly Gang. Uh, Jude says we're struggling to register your team name, but we're in his guest one seven two four six three. This admin just brilliant. Uh, and say so we only found out about this at half past six. That, uh, that this new Saint Pat, thanks to Chris at Quizbit, who's let us use the, uh, the the manager account tonight just so we could do the quiz. Please, There's a bit I... of a glitch with the uh, the chapel house one tonight. So thanks to Quizbit. Can I just uh, think... we're using we're using the manager's Quizbit account tonight. So a best look after it. So I thank want you to uh, say uh, we will send the instructions to all our members Daddy. this week as to how to create a team name for next week. So Daddy, I can I sing that. in front of everyone? Can you sing? Yeah, I'm going to sing. I'll, you, I'll give you first, I'll give you four more minutes, everyone. If anyone needs longer than that, let me know. Otherwise, we'll make it start at 20 past eight. So, I'm uh, ready to sing. Are you ready to sing? Josie, fire away. What are you singing? This is a random song. What came up in my head? Okay, um, that was all. There are times when we drop our. No, don't do that, right? Oh, no, I've got a Can you tell me, Josie? But now we know that tomorrow. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, it's done. Oh, uh. <laughs> Lauren, it says, Chris, have you been for an interview today? No sign of an Hawaiian shirt. No, I was doing that no. shirt from yesterday, to be honest. You, I just thought, you. I was thinking, I thought, I always my t-shirts and I've been scruffy, so I thought, you know what, you said, I'll put a shirt on. You people, baggy your pants up. Right, let's calm down a little bit, you two, yeah? Uh, we're going to start in three minutes from now, okay? Uh, then we're going to have an interval, I think, after the first round, all right? We're doing ow, uh, ow, ow, the ow. first round. So we're going to start in one minute, uh, sorry, three minutes from now. If anyone is struggling to get on, you can email Chrissy Benson at hotmail.co.uk. Uh, so, Daddy, I think I've got, got the. Minutes. Daddy, I think I've got the hiccups. We've got the bird tops. Uh, we have got the bird tops. We have got the bird tops in. Okay, so a reminder the donation link tonight is for Leeds Cares. Mm -hmm. It's justgiving.com forward slash Chris and Eric quiz night. Have you no know Chris Joseph? Justgiving.com. Just there it is on your screen right um, now. No, this is it. We want to try and get to 3,000. Daddy's, Daddy's got it wrong. Daddy's rubbish at it. It's pure lit too. I just did a hiccup then in front of you. Well, that's all right. So did the whole world that's sorry. Uh, don't worry. And I know a hiccup. And I know a no, 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 no. Right. Let's have a look at. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Right, Quarant Millie Walker says, Quarantine teenager and lockdown loopy here is guest 172541 and guest 172573. Dale's baby is busy watching football and it's his lockdown loopy's 11th birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Yeah, uh, happy birthday to lockdown loopy. It, look, at least you're all on. But what, uh, as I said to all our, the members and, uh, and all the people whose email addresses I've got, I will send in instructions uh, once I've simplified it during the week as to how you can register. Uh, and then Pump going forward, fire. you'll be able to just put in your pin or I'll be even able to send you a game link via email. One minute, we're starting it. Uh, once Chris, Chris only told us at half past six. Oh, Grandma Pat and Charlie say, and it's pouring down again here. Um, don't forget to send the photos over. There. Oh, yeah, I'll send the photos over. Yeah, thank you, Dad, as well, for all your DIY assistance there in the garden today as well. Thank you. I mean, it's official, we can tell people like right, the video. Right. Like so, we'll give you one minute. Anyone else struggling? Anybody else struggling? If not, we'll make it start in one minute. So, one minute, keep your chair still, though, Eric. All right. 
So one minute, otherwise we'll make a start. If there's anyone else struggling, drop me an email now at chrisebenson at hotmail.co.uk. And if not, we'll make a start Can I start in one now? Yeah, with one D10 teas are in. We just make sure What's the that everyone's in. Some articles are in. We've got 47 teams. It's still... Why don't we just a get a bit. tab of like the match? You can't get a tab of the match. No, we're not messing with that. Not no, not no, 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 messing no. with that, right? It's working, right? Okay. So, 50 plays, you see now. So, it was worth hanging on a little minute. 50 plays it's gone up to. And don't worry about the fact you've all got random names. The main thing is we're in, and you know who you are. And it, uh, you can email with how you're doing during the course of the night. Uh, a reminder... Uh, Apologies uh, that you might have funny names tonight, but I will send registration instructions during the week for those that haven't managed to register. And, I mean, uh, it's worth 53, waiting. See, 53 teams it's gone up to. I mean, it's nearly better than what we get middle because it's about 65 or something. Yeah, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the Harry Potter quiz on Sunday. Pen and paper quiz, is it Sunday at 9 o'clock? How did you get all the rounds to do with Harry Potter? How because there was a quiz on here for Harry to do with Harry Is Potter. That you yes, I have, but I will do it again. Uh, for those that are, yeah, for those that are registering, uh, like uh, my wife just said to remind you that once you've registered and put your email address and your password in, you will have to go into your email address to do a verification, fill in the uh, click on it and verify your email. If you don't do that, it won't work. So if you once you've got your email, that could be why it's not working for some people. But what I will do is this week I'll send instructions. Everyone seems to be in, even as guests, so we're all right. But uh, I will send instructions this week as to how you can register. Right, let's sit still, everyone. I think we're going to make a start. We've got everyone in, I think. Okay, so we've got 51 teams, 50-51. I think we're ready to start. There we go. Right, we're ready to start. Let's play, everyone. Are we all ready? Are we all ready, Josie? Yeah! I think we're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you ready, Rach? No. No. Oh, it wasn't it. Right, we're we'll waiting for... Hey, Dougie's she, just joined she, the game as well. Hello she, to Hey, Dougie. That's, that's anti Sarah and Uncle Andy. Josie wanted to call it the butterfly gang. So we've got... Oh, 50... I just got this plate. Is this yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to make a start. 54 teams in. Hello to Tony, who says he's 172-576. Right, we're going to make a start. Uh, so 55 teams now. We've got another guest in. Let's make... Right, let's make a start. Let's play. First one in. Sitcoms. Time for the first round. Get those fastest fingers ready. It's counting down on my screen. Okay, there we go. Okay. Right, let's make it start. So, question number one. Okay, okay. question Josie, number one. That? So, it will go me, Eric, me, Eric. In an episode of Only Fools and Horses, who was mistaken for a per pervert called the Peckham Called the Peckham. Yeah, great one, that. Let's start the clock. Wait, you got the answers now? Oh, it also shows me who's answering. This is clever. This is clever. So I know what you've all pressed now. Majority going for the same answer here. Wait, so Aren't they, Eric? A lot are going for? Rodney. A lot went for Rodney there. Three of you thought Denzel. Uh, but the, uh, let's have a look. Show the results, please. The answer was, Josie? Rodney. 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 Who was the fastest? The Buckos. The uh, I mean, this is clever. This is clever. I'm liking this as an admin screen. It's brilliant. Right, Wait, no, I can choose two. one. Eric, go on, go for it. Who what? was the star of no, no, the go on, sitcom go not going out? Okay, mm. your time starts now. This is really clever. <laughs> right. Lee. No, don't. Why? 
I tell you. We well, have to listen to me now. Right, a lot of you thinking the same one here. Lee Mac. Lee Mac. Okay, majority going for Lee Mac. Your answer was Lee Mac. Well done. And guest 172609. Well done, you were the fastest. Uh, and you're in the lead at the minute, just ahead of the buckos. Next question, Josie, can you read that out? Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, you don't need to hold that, go on. Which character, Which is, character is Friends had twin sister? I know that. Do you? Start the clock. I'm not telling you. I don't know. 20 yeah, seconds yeah. is ticking. The majority seem to be going for the same answer here. Joey's got one. Somebody has said Joey, one person said Joey. Rachel's an answer! Nobody thought it was Rachel. Rachel. No one thought it was Mummy. It's Rachel. No mummy, mummy, it's Mummy, it's Mummy, it's Mummy. I think it's actually Mummy. I think it's Mummy, I don't know much about it. That's Mummy, our Mummy. Uh, Anna and John say, help, we're still waiting for the host. I don't know, is everybody else in? Everyone else seems in. Um, see what he does in the next round, Anna and John, I'm not sure. Um, it seems to be working with the majority. Right, we'll well, we'll keep an eye on it. 51, it's saying connected. Right, the, anyway, the results are, what was the answer, Josie? Phoebe. Who's Phoebe, the, who's and the Phoebe? fastest was Mummy, her indoors. Well done. Wait, what actually was the fastest. Answer, right, put the four stars of The Good Life in the, the order that they appeared in the opening credits. You all know the sitcom. Da, 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 da. Start the clock. You need to tap all your answers in the correct order. Go now. Wait, no. Wait, now it's eight. So this one, it, I do, we don't see the... Obviously, there's, you have to tap all the answers. So we only four. know that four teams have got it right. Five, oh, no, now eight teams have got it right. This is great because from an admin side, I can see just how many have got it right. Um... And the answer is. Um, the answer is. Um, Richard Byers, then Richard Felicity Kendall, then Penelope Keith, and then Paul. The, and the and the. Why well, you just have to listen to me? Richard Bryce, then Felicity Kendall, then Penelope Keith, then Paul Edmonton. All right. Next question. Which musical instrument is played by Jim Royal in the sitcom The Royal Family? All right. Which musical instrument is played by Jim Royal in the sitcom The Royal Family? The time starts now. Can I just say... Um, the clock is ticking. On, on the question we forgot what it said the star, it was... Oh, eight banjo. It's very mixed answers, Is it going to be banjo on there? How long to trumpet? Banjo, trumpet... No, we're not. Right. The answer was, let's have a look. The answer was banjo. Okay. Um, 20 LC was the fastest. Next question. Can, Jose, just, can you read that one? Can I just say, Mr. Rory, you are the best teacher in the whole world. And the question is, before the, they, they married, what were the... Surnames. Surnames of Gavin, Gavin and Stacey. Right, two answers, please. Time starts now. Don't give the answers away, Eric. Correct. So we've got five, seven, eight, nine, eleven. I mean, it's pretty even. Yeah, we won't tell you how they're voting. Right, but more people have got it right than wrong. Right. Surnames were okay, ha, uh, and the answers were Shipman, Shipman and West. Shipman and West. What's the top ten looking like? Well, one seven two six one five. Well, Eric, don't mess with that. One, yeah, uh, one seven two six one five. You're in lead. Bertoff's second. Team Heward third. As Where's it stands at the moment. Off? Which pop singer appeared as herself in an episode of The Vicar of Dibley? Which pop singer appeared as herself in an episode of The Vicar of Dibley? Your time starts now. <laughs> <clears throat> Bad it, and also on this, you know when you go down here, yeah, 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 uh, on here though, on there, yeah, we got yeah. no, just go down. No, no, it's not to do anything. So when you go down, it says like bottom. Oh, you can see the bottom, fastest things. Who's yeah, in we're the we're bottom? Well, we're, well, we'll have a look in a bit, right? Right. Someone just anyway, got back by a while. The result answer was please. 
When is the first one? I always vote for the most, always get it. Hey, Kyle, I know 172434 was the fastest. Who's in the bottom 10? Well, Come on, everyone wants to know who's in the bottom 10. There's a few that are on zero, admittedly. Um, fastest but fastest finger was definitely 172434. Richard and Christine, though, you were second fastest. Team Hewitt, you were the third fastest there. The answer was Kyle mm -hmm. Minogue. Right, question number eight. Add the number of children that the following had. The number of Derek Trotter's children in Only Fools and Horses. The number of children Rhea Parkinson had in Butterflies. And the number of children that Pete Brockman had in Outnumbered. So you need to add them all together and type in your answer. Reels okay. Disney films. Your time starts now. Marriage. Right, right. We're on. We're on. Most people have got it correct so far. We can't. We don't know the answer. Sometimes it says like correct and incorrect, but all I know is like twenty-seven people. Have John Radcliffe says, "Think you must be using Sheffield United's goal line technology this week, not working." If you try to put the pin in now, it might work for you from the start of round two, but it seems to be what? working for so everyone else. Goal line to see technology. So I don't know if it's because you just missed the, the pin. Wait, Daddy, well, no, I was I was no, I was watching a video of someone watching through it telling us what's happened on, and then John uh, are in. Brilliant. on YouTube before this and I was like anyway, that should have been a goal, I mean well, Derek Trotter had one son, Rhea Parkinson had two sons, Pete Brockman had two sons and a daughter. So there you go, that's six. Six in total, isn't it? Six. Right. So uh, 27 have you got it right, 25 have you got it wrong. We'll move on to question no, no, number no. nine. Answers. What was the surname of the character in Porridge who ate razor blades and light bulbs? All right. Uh, uh, type, type, type. I'm you can't, you can't show them. Right. Oh, this one. There we go. This one's tight. What people Right. We're going to pause for interval after the, this round. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. I'm leaving now. Right. The answer was. Evans. 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 Only nine people, Only nine people got that. it right. Bertoff's Team Hewitt is your top two at the moment. Very close, though, at the top. Right, question 10. Which character in Phoenix Knights claimed to have appeared on centre court at Wimbledon, despite being unseeded, and got Jackie Chan a prize for some paint? Oh, I love Phoenix Knights. Right. Which character in Phoenix Knights claimed to have appeared on centre court at Wimbledon, uh, grandma, despite being unseeded and got Jackie Chan a prize for some paint? Time's us now. Daddy, no Grandma Pat and Grandma Chad was once called Phoenix Knights. They were, Grandma. Well remembered, yeah. Oh, so don't give out how everyone's answering yet. We're cool, don't, we don't, don't. Let's not give any of It's easy for us to think of it. Yeah, well, we won't tell you how everyone's answering. Um, I will tell you, but no, four, no, no, four people uh, have only got more than second place on voting. Oh, well. Time is up on this screen. Let's show the results. And the answer was... It was Kenny, Kenny Senior. Kenny Senior. And 172590. Well done. Who indoors? Who indoors? Mummy is fifth in this round. I mean, is this our best round? I mean, this could be a best round ever. I mean, there's only 50 odd people. I mean, but it's usually like 70 odd, and she's usually finishing like 40. That could, that, that. Somewhere like that. I mean, this is getting. Uh, yeah. Lauren says some, Chris, some questions aren't letting his answer, hence we aren't winning. Lauren? We'll go with it. It's, I, don't, I don't know why, but let's see how it does for round I've two. I've never actually you. seen uh, it. Let's move on. That, so, at the end of that Her round, the winners of that round, well, Team Hewitt. Well, there's only ten questions. There must be ten questions in the new format now, so anyway. Ah. Team Hewitt won that round. One, seven, two, six, one, five, you were second. Bertoff, you were third. Mummy! Uh, is Josie going up, Boo? We'll just see if, we'll, if Josie's going to say goodnight. Can I uh, check the score? Can we check the score? You, you want to check the score? Of course you Arsenal. can. Let's have a look. Arsenal City. Tell everyone what the score is. Wait, Daddy, press Nil -nil, Nil, Manchester score. City and Arsenal. Right, we're going to carry on. Press my score. No, it's all right. We're going to carry on and do one more round. We'll carry on and do one more round. my score. And no, it's then all right. We'll we're going to carry on and do one more round, okay? So one more round. Uh, well done if you would. Fruit. 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 Can our random <laughs> Fruit. Fruit. Right, there you go. So it is fruit. Let's start round two. 
Strawberry Fields in Central Park, New York is a memorial to which singer? Strawberry Fields in Central Park, New York is a memorial to which singer? Daddy, right. I like this new format. Oh, I did. Good. Your time starts now. Got oh wait what? Amanda says she's managed, managed to people. get through question four, so that's good. Nobody. Robin Oak, it's letting you answer now. A lot. There's only one answer that people are saying this one. I hope it's not Jimi Hendrix. Why do you like the music? Like, like, yeah, yeah, right. Strawberry Fields Forever, of course, was released in 1967. What was the answer, Eric? And it was John yeah. Lennon. Lennon. John Lennon. Well done. Wait, you I said yeah. Got that right? To NPRC, you yeah. were the fastest. Well done. Which comedian That's frequently funny. referred to Apricot Lil and Slack Can Alice? Is this, is this, All right, Dad, you'll know this one. No, this is round now. two. Uh, this is round two, Josie. So there must be ten oh, questions in this round now. Mm -hmm. Looks like evil questions aren't happening either in the new quizzes as well. Some will like that. Some will like that because I know you always used to, didn't like the evil questions. They look like they've been dropped. Um, everyone has answered. Wait, it just. L Whimsy Larry, Wobblers. Larry Grams. Whimsy Wobblers were the Gra fastest. Larry Grayson. Larry was the Grayson. Who is the answer? Can well, I just say, two, yeah. who, whoever got it wrong, don't worry because we've got more questions and focus. Focus. Yeah, Hal and the team. And remember, pick those. Richard and Christine, you are in the lead in this round. You might want to take a screen, screenshot of that. Anyway, Larry Grayson was the answer. Helping Next question. The, house, the Order of the House of Orange is an honour awarded in which city? The Order of the House of Orange is an... Oh, yeah. Honour awarded in which country? Obviously, if you read the question, Chris. It's time to ask now. Daddy, how do you oh, take a... Oh, the sip of my orange juice. Wait, Daddy, how do you take a screenshot? Um, well, don't do last it's too well, much. I got to call and football manager by Did accident. Right. But I didn't You're know all how. very quick there. Yeah, Remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Uh, most people went for Eric. What did they go for? Most people went for Netherlands. And the answer was the Netherlands. Well done, Twenty PLC. You were the fastest. Wait, Daddy. Next one, yeah. Josie. Can you read the question, please? Uh, everyone. Josie, go. Who wrote James and the Giant James Peach? And the giant peach. Who wrote James and the Giant Peach? Start the clock. Who? 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 Have we? Okay, have I got that in. in my room? Roll down. What is the answer? Look how quick everyone answered there. That was like lightning, that, wasn't it? Um, I mean, I've got the answer. And, uh, well, yeah, I hope it isn't Kenneth Graham. The now. answer is um, Rold Dahaha. Rold Do you know who was the fastest? Mummy. Erin Dawes was the fastest. Wait, where's Mummy in the lead? Where's Mummy in the lead? She's not in the top ten. Wait, we'll go to fastest fingers. What's Daddy? Mummy is on and three, got 202 my, points. And right, what's Mummy's team called? Erin Dawes. Question five. Miss Lemon is the servant... <laughs> Of which fictional sleuth? Which Miss Lemon is a servant of which fictional sleuth? Mummy's keeping quiet about now. this. Now, Mummy is keeping quiet about it. Mummy mm -hmm. is, but the look at the clock. Oh, lots of different answers for this one. <laughs> lots of different answers. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. Lots, lots of different, of different answers. answers. Oh, but everyone's answered now. Majority going for Hercule Poirot. I like this because when everyone answers, I mean. Uh, so, Ten people thought Thalba um, Brown, Sherlock Holmes, but the answer was Hercule Poirot. Well done, Wibsy Wobblers, you were the fastest there. Question six. Do you want to read that one for us, Eric? I, I heard, heard it through the grapevine. Was a number one in the nineteen sixties? I don't need to be here, do I? Start the clock. I hope it's not. I hope it's not Wilson Packett. Well, four thought James Brown. You're going to kick yourself because the answer was forty six. Have you got it right? Marvin Gaye. Well done. Wait, is it Gay? No, Marvin Gaye. That's his name. Anyway, right. Okay. right. Question seven. Cherry Island is the only island in which lock in Scotland. Cherry Island is the only island in which lock in Scotland. Your time starts now. Honestly, I don't know this, even though I should. Ooh, there's a few different answers, but uh, I hope it's not. It's either Loch Lomond, Loch Ness, Loch Tay, Loch Or. 
Well, Wait, Eric, how many have said Loch Ness? 20. How many said Loch Lomond? 28. And the answer was Loch Ness! Wait, is this the first time this has happened? No, it's been the second time yeah. someone this has happened before. Loch Ness was the answer. Imagine if it's Loch Tay or Loch Allen. It could happen. Question eight. Do you want to read that one, Eric? Which country's rugby team? And nicknamed the Kiwis. I'm going to go. The time starts now. The clock is ticking. Yeah. One said South Africa, uh, 51 said New Zealand. The answer was New Zealand. Wait, how many people said New Zealand? Uh, one, seven, two, four, three, I said four, Australia. In the lead. I said Australia. Hey, Dougie, having a good round in fourth team. Wait, Wednesday. where's Mummy? Uh, Mummy isn't in the Wait, top is, ten. Wait, is he in the bottom ten? I don't think so. But let's move on to the next question. Question number nine. Which Beatles song was the first number one single on the Apple label? So, so with Parlophone first, I think from memory, which Beatles song was the first number one single on the Apple label? Oh, I know what I'd guess, but anyway, uh, time starts now. Wait, what are the... And Wait, none I of the songs that I thought it was are appearing in the list, so I'd have been wrong. Wait, it might have not... Wait, what if it's hardly any of... What if it's one of them that's got, like, five, five... Well, four, four thought Lady Madonna, five thought I Feel Fine, six thought Hello Goodbye, 37 thought Hey Jude... Is Mummy in the top... Do you know what the answer was? Hey Jude! One hey, Dude. Dude. D-Conties were the fastest. Mummy? Um, hey, Doug, you've just dropped down to... Right, I think this is your final question in round two. In which English city is named Lime Street Railway Station? In which English city is Lime Street Railway Station? I need to Start read these. I mean, I need a prediction of these. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's some quick answers here. There's some. One of the answers, answers is where we live. And nobody put Bradford, though. No. Yeah. Nobody put Bradford. One person put Leeds. Lime Street, Leeds, it put Leeds. Um, I mean, it's alliteration. It is Liverpool. Cool. And her indoors was the fastest. Wait, what's the score in the Premier League? Yeah. Did I do well, that? Her so, indoors, was that Mummy? That is Mummy. Oh, there is another question. What? See, there's another this question. Is another weird. question. Right, which trio bat backed Bananarama on the hit single Really Saying Something? Which trio backed mm. Bananarama on the hit single Really Saying Something? I know that one. Time starts now. What is it? What do you think it is, Dublin? You just point like second, I, 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 third. I, I, what do you think, like first, second, third, or fourth? I, I know the answer is that one. You know the answer. I do know the answer how, is that one. How you, so, like, do you know um, that? Like, four thought it was the cane gang, seven thought it was the police. Daddy, you can say your answer beat. now, what was right? 33 thought fun boy three. And the answer, and the answer was, was fun boy three. three. One seven two four three four a leading, but one seven two four six four. You are you were the fastest. Well done. Wait, uh, right, wait. one more. Oh, there is an evil question this round. We'll see if it's yeah. too soon. The Golden Raspberry Award is an award show sh on honoring the worst performance in which entment Field. Thank you, Josie. Your time starts now. Entertainment at field. No, you did very well. No, you did really Oscar, well. can I just say my prediction? I stop there. I uh, people are going to say it's that, but I think it's that. Well, yeah. apparently, it was first awarded on March the thirty-first, nineteen eighty-one. Wait, six days um, after my birthday. Films was the right answer. I Thirty-two of you got that right. I actually put theatre. You put yes. theatre. Three of you thought music. The winners of that round were the Whimsy Wobblers. Richard and Christy, give a round of applause. Bert off second. Two thousand and twenty-one. Very good, Scott. Right, Josie. Josie, we're going to pause for interval now. So, Josie, I'm going to let you say good night to everyone and say thank you for playing. Let me do it. We'll be back in five minutes for the. Uh, uh, no, I'll stay here and tell them yeah. the score. Josie, tell say good night. Give them a wave. Brilliant. Josie, a round of applause for Josie. We'll be back in five minutes. Stay no, right where you are. Round two is in back. just a moment.
Hi, my name is Paul Kurtz Black. I'm um, from the Bratton Blades team in Chris Lyric's quiz. Uh, Chris has asked me if I would record a short comment. Hi, my name is Paul Kurtz Black. I'm um, from the Bratton Blades team in Chris Lyric's quiz. Uh, Chris has asked me if I would record a short commentary on tonight's First match back uh, for Premier League action from the Project Restart, which of course happened at 6 o'clock this evening. Aston Villa versus Sheffield United from the uh, Midlands. Before the match, certainly the weather was abysmal, uh, torrential rain, but as the match started, um, the, uh, the weather had changed drastically and, and it was dry. Uh, lots of social distancing going on with the football uh, at the start, so the away team came out initially on their own, were followed a minute or so later by the home team so they could maintain their two metre social distancing. And then as the football commenced, obviously, that was very different. But before the match commenced, uh, not only were there uh, other, other players wearing shirts with the Black Lives Matters um, logo on the back in place of their names, and there's various different things to also recognize, to talk about Black Lives Matters throughout the ground, they also had a minute silence before kickoff. Uh, in memory of anyone who uh, passed away uh, over the course of the last few months uh, with coronavirus. But they also, as the what referee blew the whistle at the start of the match, all players, match officials, and anybody who was, was there in the ground, connected with the teams, dropped to one knee um, for eight minutes and four, eight seconds and four, 40, 8.4 seconds in memory of Black Lives Matters and particularly obviously George Floyd in Minneapolis. Uh, the match itself, first half, I watched the first half on 401, uh, which uh, meant that there was going to be stadium sound played uh, whilst the football was going on. And that certainly sounded great because it was coming across the football. Obviously, it was empty, but it was that effect there that gave you the impression that there were people in the ground. Uh, the football itself, both teams came out. Uh, the Blades, probably for the first few minutes, had a stronger uh, the play. But then as things got on, Villa certainly got back into it. Probably overall, Villa had the better of the first half. The only real talking moment that came away from the first half was three minutes before the first half was uh, blue. There was uh, a moment where the Blades crossed a corner in. It was intercepted and the goal by Villa's goalie, who caught it, fell back, and just inside the goal, he held on to it. But the referee blew his whistle and said no goal, and um, that didn't stand. There's no VAR decision, so it hasn't proved contentious so far this season. Project Restart got undergo. And um, we'll see what happens in the second half if the wins are each other. Thanks to Paul Coates, but I'll do with that in a little moment as well. In fact, we'll just play now. I think we've got time to play now. And then we'll tell you, you about it. Yeah, but oh, she's back. Well, Paul will play part two in just a little while. Thank you so much. Wait, for first, that. can I check the score? Oh, you you want you want to check the Wait, score? Wait, can I you? also see what the team is? Well, we're not going to mess about with the team, but I'll tell you the score. Okay, you want to know the score in the other big event, not just the quiz tonight. It's nil nil. So both matches Wait, have been. Wait, pressing live both, score. Both matches in have been. Live score, and then we just right. need. I'm pressing it. There, nil nil. Thank you, Eric. You're teaching me modern technology here, aren't you? So it's nil nil in Arsenal Manchester City. There hasn't been a single goal since the Premier League. Any game. Back. Um, <laughs> no, right. I think, and I predicted a two all draw from this, I think. You did. Where are the teacher squads oh, going? Uh, Grandma Pat says, wasn't going to have a drink. Uh, but we decided, go on, go on, go on. I don't blame you. Too I much. need a drink. Come in. Uh, Alan Field then says, uh, we're answering quite fast, but the scores are not as high as they were before. I think you still get 200 points up for grabs. I think you still get the same amount of points per question. I think um, there was certain, the Wibsy Wobblers proved their thing in that last round. I think it's still at the same score, Alan. We'll see how the scores look um, at the end of this one. Here, round three now coming up. I think we're all back. Time to end the round. And round three is a picture round. Okay, so let's put the uh, the right caption up. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right, time to start. Twelve questions. Pictures on the board. Good luck. You're all very very fast tonight. 
Uh, question number one, I want you to name that TV presenter. Remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Anyone want to be of pizza? <laughs> yes, I will. Now you've brought it in. Right, time's up. Well, honestly, I didn't mean it. It was a joke. Hmm. Can't be called pizza. I said that a few weeks ago. You can't be called pizza. <laughs> Okay. The answer, of course, well, 48 of you said Richard Mayley. I hope you're right. Uh, Richard Mayley was the right answer. Well done. Guess 172609. You were the fastest. Irving Doors, second fastest. And a reminder that you can donate any time during the evening to Leeds Cares at justgiving.com forward slash Chris and Eric Quiz Night 13. You provide us terrific support for all Leeds teaching hospitals. It'd be brilliant to show your support there tonight. So justgiving.com forward slash Chris and Eric Quiz Night 13. Right, we'll leave that on the screen. Next question, please. Name the England World Cup winner. So name the England World Cup winner. There is your picture. Oh, Eric will know that. Eric will know that. Right, name the England World Cup winner. Your time starts now. Rugby Union. Rugby Union. There's your address to donate. Let's dig deep. Okay. 172609 was the first fastest during door, second fastest. Daddy, do you want some pizza from pizza? <laughs> uh, the Ben Cohen was the po most popular answer, and it's right. Ben Cohen, well done. Right, next question. We've got Which some... US city is this? Which US city oh. is this? There's your picture. It is Chicago. Could be anywhere, that, couldn't it? Which US city is that? Your time starts now. now. Of course, we should raise a glass tonight to Willie Thorne. Cheers. There's Willie Thorne. The snooker player who's died today, so cheers to Willie Thorne. Um, San Antonio is the most today popular answer. Today in class? Uh, Leo from Year 4 was saying that w Willie Thorne died. He did, 66. San Antonio was the most popular answer, and San Antonio was the right answer. Well done. How yes, good was it? 172466 was the fastest. How good was it? Uh, Has any football He only won one time? tournament, the Mercantile Credit Classic. But he was... What was the final this one? Yeah, was he, what, did, did he actually get to the final at the Crucible? Well, what was the semi-final? I can't remember. Oh, no, you see, I... I know he always used to say that, didn't he? he got, I think he got to like a UK Championship final or something, didn't he? But he didn't win anything apart from the Mercantile Credit Classic in 1985, did he? But anyway, Wait, Dad did. Willie Thorne, legend. And of course, I did play Snooker Looper this morning. Oh, Willie Thorne, his hair's all gone and his mates all take the rice. All of you should play Snooker Looper after the Wait, quiz. Wait, Dad, right. Um, there he is. That song's in my head. I don't know. Question four. Which, re nil, nil which retailer football. did she found? There's a picture. Oh, I know that one. Who, who is she? Well, we can't give that away because it give the answer. Right, which retailer did she find? Your time starts now. Point to it. And at least we haven't lost any questions like last week. It seems to be working. Right, yeah, so you think well, it's not that one. Everyone's answered really fast. Um, anyway, 38 said The Body Shop. Nine of you thought Anne Summers. Um, three of you thought Dorothy Perkins. Two thought Holland and Barrett. Anyway, it was Eta Roddick, who was the founder of The Body Shop. Well done if you got that one right. Who was the fastest, Eric? Uh, in. Erin Dawes. Hey, Wait, Cookie, do we no, must. Wait, who's in round? the bottom ten? Who's in the anyway, bottom ten? Anyway, well, let's move on. Question five. Which of these 1980s hits reached number one? So here's your picture. So I'm guessing it means which who which 80 hit 1980s hit from this person reached number one. Oh, that's a tough question. 1980s. All right, time starts now. Seven. 
most people are going for. No, don't say. We don't want to give it away. People are still answering. What answer do you think it is? What do I think it is? I think a majority have got that right. I think that looks right. 23 went for Ashes to Ashes. 18 went for China Girl. 6 went for Fashion. 5 went for Modern Love. Um, no, let's no. have a look. It was Ashes to Ashes. Mm -hmm. Bradford Blades. Paul, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, he's uh, just been on he's the He's just show. been on the video and he did know all that. Well done. Uh, 172466 is in the league. Maybe there'll be a question. What score? Was she United versus Aston Villa? Might be. The answer. Right. No. What was the surname no. of his character in the film? Alfie. So. Wait, as what the was the surname of the, the character in the film? Alfie. No, it's no, no, it's Eric. So, what was the surname of the character in the film? Alfie. My name is Michael Caine, and I know a lot of people know that. Start the call. So I've calmed down. Then. So I just give the answer away. No, I'm not giving the answer away. Oh, so you're no, it's his real name. He's talking about the surname of the film. We're all right. Mom, I'm eating again. Yeah. Um, Elkins, uh, 19 said, 15 said Enderby, 11 said Eastwood, and 7 said Ewing. What was the answer, Eric? <laughs> Elkins, indeed. Look who's I've got to do the quiz. My teddy. Me, moving, nobody can see you. <laughs> yeah, moving a little bit. Hello. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Right, one seven two six three six three three. You were the uh, the fastest there. Let's play on question seven. Mm. What was the name of the character she played in Doctor Who? So the pictures there. Oh, what was her name? Oh yeah, I know it now. Okay, Rachel's thinking. What was her name? Ready? Time starts now. Speaking of Doctor Who, let me just go on yet. So, clock is ticking. 20 seconds, remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Alan, I hope your score's building up a little bit now. Lauren, I hope you're you're able to answer them now as well. Let me know how you're getting on. Speaking of Doctor Who. Oh, yeah, speaking of Doctor Who. That is actually... There's been, your donation page. Donate tonight. Just give me Doctor Daddy's Who. That's Chris been, and Chris at 13. Daddy's once been Doctor Who in his life. Daddy's been Doctor Who once. You have to hold it probably that way. Look, that's my answer, my grandma... That's it, Mom it and uh, Daddy. I was the doctor. Would you like a jelly baby? Um, yeah, can I? No, you can't. Donna Noble was the right answer. 19, if you got it right. Uh, Pash Mega hey. doing well. They're in third. Hey, Dougie, brilliant in this right four. The... Breath of oh, Blades, hey. fifth. Let's move on. Where's Question Mom? number eight. <gasps> Name Please. of country. Wait, let me. Wait, wait. So I'm going to show you the picture. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to have a sip of my drink. Wait, Cheers. Wait. Okay, and your time starts now. Don't forget, you can sign up for the quiz from the 8th of July. £10 a month, that's 2 50 a week. That's all it is. Email me tonight, uh, chrissybenton at homeo.co.uk, and I'll send over a registration form like Trisha and everybody else has asked. And for those that have a registration form already, make sure you get those back uh, this week, and we'll get you signed up before the deadline as well. First month deadline is the 1st of July. Right, so the 17 thought Belgium, 14 said Albania. The answer was Belgium. <laughs> Did Eric get that wrong? Yeah, he made Eric Switzerland. Eric made Rachel press Switzerland. Oh dear. Maybe it's not Belgium? Uh, I team swear Heward, that's team, Switzerland. Team Heward, you were the fastest, well I done. I swear that's Switzerland. Well, you were wrong. Question nine, which major title did he win twice? So which major title did he win twice? All right. Like a golfer, I think. Your time starts now. It's definitely not home now. And we've received our first donation. Wonderful. And £20 yeah, has been donated. Golfer. £20. We'll it's have a look at those in a minute. So thank you. £20 are off and running. You can donate, remember, at justgiving.com. Oh, it's Chris and Eric, 13. 30 people have said that. 30 people said the US Masters. 15 said the US Open. One thought US PGA. The answer was the US Masters. It was Bernard Langer, who won the US Masters in 1985 and 1993. Pashley Mega's having a brilliant round, third in this one. Um, well done to 172609, though. You were the number. Uh, you were the top number there in that round. You were the fastest. Question Can 10. you get a map of Switzerland? Wait. No. Oh, goal of the football. Goal! Oh! 
Scottish Let's not mess about with the Scottish 1 0. That's all you need to know for now. Wait, Daddy, does the score of World Cup. Sorry, 1 0. Can we one see who the no. score was at half time? Uh, who was at, what was their only number one single? Wait, Daddy, did it? Was it a. I don't know, your time you starts now. Should they even give it away, penalty to me? They've got to keep the distance. It was Sterling, there you go. Sterling in the second minute of added on time, Mary. There you go. So, um, City 1, Arsenal 0, keeping the pressure on Liverpool for a few more days, it seems. Um, so, 3 if you thought, leave a light on. Good song. I, I get weak. Um, the answer was... Heaven is a place on earth. Guest 172442, you're the fastest. Yeah, if it is. Burnt off to uh, fourth in this round. Bradford Blade seventh. Where would it be? Uh, let's move on to question 11. Name the film. Good. So, Good. name the film. There's a picture. Kiss the girl. Okay. Time starts now. Disgusting. <laughs> what? What about you and Mummy? Was that being funny? Uh, definitely not, no, no. Um, anyway, okay? 23 said <gasps> Fatal Attraction, 3 said Sliver, uh, the answer was Basic Instinct, of course. How do you know? You just told them people might How did I know? I pressed, how did I know the answer before I pressed it? Yeah, I just know, right. Um, anyway, it was, that, that film is 28 years old this year. Right, final question this round. What was the occupation of a character in Coronation Street? What was the occupation of a character in Coronation Street? You know that. Fassi answer, the more points. You know that, you... don't you? Yeah, I, of course I know it. Yeah, I like Coronation Street. I do know it. Uh, your time starts now. Why do you never help your wife out? I mean, you love her. Because the idea is I'm doing the question. I can't give, give Rachel. Rachel, I know that. Yeah. I must be like Oh, don't mess with that. Uh, Angela Griffin played Fiona Middleton. Now, how do you know what so, who was the hairdresser? Well done, 172434, who was the fastest. But the winners of that round were 172615. Who was that? Um... <laughs> Mum and Dad said before the watershed too. I think I think it was just after the watershed basic incident. There you go. Um, right. So the winners of that round were one seven two six one five. Your numbers come up. Round of applause. Uh, but names you can identify. The Bertoffs. Uh, you were third. Pashley Mega. You were eighth. And that is the end of the third round. Well done. Uh, right. Round four then is da -da 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 -da, around the world, Europe. So right. Let's travel around Europe, Eric. Are you ready? Wait, let me just see what kind of questions are out first. Of All right. Which group had a top three hit with Vienna? Which group had a top three hit with Vienna? Your time starts now. I know. In fact, it was top two. I think it was top two. Finished second. It was. Um, they were not top. They never got to number one spot in 1981 because. Uh, Joe Dolce was number one. What's the matter, you? Hey, got to know what I spent. It's a not so bad. It's a nicer place. I shall not be a face that kept this song off number one. Absolutely. Hey guys, true. who's in the bottom ten? Um, two of you said it was Teardrop Explodes. No, um, majority going for Ultravox, and you were right to go for Ultravox. Uh, well Daddy, done. Song about how are we in the fourth? Vienna. How are we in the fourth round and it's only a. Uh, just to, and it's only like 10 past nine. Oh, because you want a late bedtime, right? Please Question two. Out. Juventus play their home games in which city? Eric's like, like a <laughs> whip it. <laughs> Eric, Juventus play their home games in which city? Your time starts now. Well, lots, a few different answers actually, a few different answers. Maybe it's not as straightforward as what you think. Shireen, Milan, Bologna, Genoa. It's One of those. It. I know this. Well, it's don't tell about it. It's Turin. You, you, you were convinced it was Turin, weren't you? Yes. It is Turin. Turin does get the fastest. Turin does get the fastest. That's for me. She wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for me. And look who's winning the round, Eric. Oh, no. Mummy is winning the round. Uh, One seven two six. One seven two six oh nine second twenty PLC third Bertos fourth. Uh, they, uh, mummies forgive you for switching. Sorry, but Belgium just looks so small on like a world map. And like Switzerland, you got you got the Belgium question wrong. Get over it. Right, looks moving on. So big on it. The wine bull's blood comes from which country? The wine 
bull's blood comes from which country? All right, time starts now. Well, in Shakespeare's language. Oh, that's a good question. John, do you know that one? Somebody will know that. Tom, I wish it could let us put our answer down like we were. Hungary, Poland, Czech Republic. Go! Ukraine. Go! 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 No, it's not. Still one day, it's half time. Uh, Hungary, Poland, Czech Republic, Ukraine. Um, the, let's have a look. Hungary was the most popular answer. 29 people said that. The answer was Hungary. 172434 with the fastest. Let's also take the lead. Mommy. There it goes to drop to 10th. Next question. Oh, football. European countries have won the last four World Cups. But from 2006 to 2018, I want you to put them in order that they won the tournament. So European countries have won the last four World Cups from 2006 to 2018. I want you to put them in the order that they won the tournament. So you need to type the answers in the correct order. Your time starts now. I'm guessing Eric got that right, did you know for Rachel's reaction in there? And uh, there's only 15 that's got it right so far. Honestly. Did you get it right? Yeah. What? Everyone is incorrect. <laughs> um, grandma says, Grandma Pat says, you're so clever, Eric. And somebody's just donated £10 as well, which is wonderful. It was. A no. Reminder. Wait, we've got the times up. Can I just tell you? Go on. What did you think it was before the answer? It was up? Italy. It was Spain. It was Germany. It was France. Let's see if you're right. Italy, Spain, Germany, France. And France to me? Look at that. Fastest was indeed Irving does again. Where is uh, Mummy? So, Mummy is now fourth in this round. Probably it should be just the Eric show. Um, but well done there. Italy, Spain, Germany, France. And 15 of you got that one right. Remember, Thank you for the £10 donation. Eric, what's the address if you want to donate? Donate at Leeds Cafe. Just give in. The camp. Chris and Quiz 9. 13 with extra pizza from Just Eat. I ain't plugging just either. They'll give me free. And then reminder, Sunday night at nine, we do a pen and paper quiz as well. So don't miss that on Sunday. Right, next question. The first series of our... Mum and Dad, I'm expecting you to get this like lightning. The first series of our video and Pet was set in which German city? Brilliant show. Wait, is it Munich? You ready? Your Go time for Munich. starts now. Wait, don't... Do you know where it was filmed? You know, I mean, uh, do you know where the uh, a lot of our Venus Day Pet Series One was filmed? And I can say this: it was filmed uh, in um, Elstree Studios in London. And after they finished filming, they built the set for a soap called EastEnders. Absolute fact. Uh, so that was where a lot of it doubled up for. I think the answer is Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, uh, forty-two of you said, and Dusseldorf was right. Uh, Mummy, did you get that right? You got mummy got that right. Impressive. In fact, mummy is fifth in this round, just uh, sixty-four points place, behind right. the lead. Question six: The French president serves a term of how many years in office? You need to type in the right answer, please. The French president serves a term of how many years in office? You uh, type in the answer, please. Your time starts Wait, why do you, now. Why does it say show keypad? I mean, because when we press show keypad, they see the keypad on the screen. Oh my word, a lot have got that wrong. A lot have got that wrong. Only four four have got that right. Only four have got that right so far, Eric. Oh no, 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 no. I could probably name And let's have a look. The results, the answer was seven. Seven, no way. No effing chance, Amy and Andy down at Chop House. Thank you, for, of course, uh, for all your uh, use of the quiz. And, uh, well done. Did you enjoy the football? Mommy? We've had one goal at least tonight now. Irving does is now seven. And the first player to score back at the Premier League, uh, we've had in, on the project we start is Raheem Sterling from Jamaica. Question seven. Which country is landlocked within North Central Italy? Which country is landlocked within North Central Italy? I sure your know time this. starts now. I shall know this so badly. Oh no! I, uh, it's not Monaco. Well. It's not Andorra. It's not like um, it's San Marino. Well, no, don't, it's don't not say, San don't, Marino. Don't, don't, don't say the answers because people are still. No, honestly, it's not. San Marino is part of Switzerland. Well, anyway. I swear. 
Eric's convinced one of the answers is Switzerland tonight, isn't it? Um, 33 ah, said San Marino. Probably... The answer was San Marino. 172424, you were the fastest. Whimsy Wobbles having another belter of a round. You're second in this round. Irving Doors is seven. Next question. Oh, what are the two colours? <laughs> He's determined to have a question about Switzerland, isn't he? <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Eric, this one is for you. What are the two colours on the flag? What are the two colours on the flag of Switzerland? Press now. Switzerland. You could not make that up. You really could not make that up. Everyone's going to get this right. One's got it wrong. One's got it wrong. Two's got it wrong. But a good turnout tonight. Wow. Thank you for your support. I know the football's back on, but great to have you, of course. Uh, it's right. still half time. 50 got it right. The answer was. Red and white. Red, red and white. Red and white. Don't forget, you can still donate right now. There's the address on the screen, justgiving.com forward slash Chris and Eric Quiz Night 13. Wherever you can support, uh, it will all go towards helping Leeds teaching hospitals I love and assisting them. And they've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you to Lauren for suggesting that. Uh, why have you put on that? To, well, we are on round four, yeah. Uh, thank you for suggesting the charity for this week, Lauren. Uh, next week might be a Virgin Money Giving page because Virgin? Oh, uh, just a quick update to Paul who did the video earlier. Paul, I managed to get hold of the Joe Cox Foundation, so I think we're going to do a page next week on the Virgin Money Giving because they're not on just giving. So we're going to do on Virgin Money Giving next week, and next week will be for the Joe Cox Foundation people. So spread the word, and of course for. Uh, four years this week uh, since her death. No, so, four let's, uh, years. Raise as much as we can next week. Four years a few days ago, actually. Right, with which German city would you associate the early career of the Beatles? With which German city would you associate the early career of the Beatles? Your time starts now. I thought it was Liverpool, Dublin. German city? Mm. Uh, well, I, I know what I'd like, I think. Point to it, point. Oh, I think it's that one, but um, majority going for Hamburg. I, I think they had a, a period, saying. quite a long period they spent there. Come on. Uh, the answer is Hamburg. One seven two. Don't mess with the keys. Mommy, anyway, don't mess with the keys. Please, right. Mommy. It's question number. Oh, uh, that was question number nine. Irving Doors was nine for the minute. Uh, 172609 was the fastest. Hamburg, if you got that right, well done. Question right. 10. Which capital city is mentioned in the lyrics of Men at Work's number one hit, Down Under? Which capital city is mentioned in the lyrics of Men at Work's number one hit, Down Under? Your time starts now. Probably London, I mean. Wait, is that the right answer? Oh, no, don't, don't mention that, yeah? Hey, he's got these... Graphics around, please. Uh, so, a lot of you have got this right. 1983 song. Um, Just what Miss Brown. Brilliant song. Longer and longer and longer. 28 said Brussels. Uh, I can't, I'm trying to think of the words there. I had my man in Brussels, six foot four and full of muscles. I said, do you speak my language? He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And he said, I come from a land... Oh, I'm not singing that, I need. Hey, Brussels was the answer. The Muppets, well done, you were the fastest. Uh, and Irving Dawes is eight. Irving Dawes is eight. Patrick Megan's having a good round as well. Uh, right, question. Oh, that was the end of that round, so it was 10 in that round. So the winners of that round were 172568. Uh, give them a round of applause. Oh, Very Patrick, good round. Can Very we do another round. extra quiz at the end? No. Right, round five is the chain. Round five is the chain. Okay, can you make it all the way to the end of the chain? Let's start round five. Here we go. Complete the line from Blur's hit song, Part Life. I get up when I want to, except on... <laughs> that was a bad Phil Daniels impersonation. Um, complete the line from the Blur hit, Part Life. I get up when I want, except on... Your time starts now. Don't forget, you can email during the quiz at chrissybenton at hotmail.co.uk tonight. Let us know what you're drinking. Let us know what your bar snacks are. Pale ale's going down rather nice with this uh, New England pale. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, uh, 19 said Mondays. 17 said Wednesdays. 13 said Tuesdays. The answer was Wednesdays. 17 said Wednesdays. Well done. Uh, Diego's Divas. 
Julia and the gang there, your second fastest US. Right. Martigles had a good day question there. The second question for round, round is, uh, what day does Chris and Eric do the quizzes on? Oh, is it very A, good. Friday, C, Saturday, B, Sunday, or D, Now you're Monday. just thinking of questions, are you? Question two. Which English city is home to football clubs called United and Wednesday? <laughs> Paul, you're not the fastest on this one. I tell you what, there'll be something wrong. Oh, it could be Julia and Johnny's been managed to log in. Right. Uh, your time starts now. I'm hoping Bradford Blades come up really, really quick. I'm hoping this. Manchester. Manchester? Who's always Manchester? Manchester Wednesday? Manchester Wednesday. Manchester Wednesday? Oh, don't press it. There we go. The answer was... Oh, I Mummy was the fastest. Um, Wait, but, where is she? Who was the fastest fingers? Let's have a look. Oh, Bradford Blades went in the top ten there. Uh, Birdtofts were fourth fastest. Humphrey was very fast on the finger, as was the Smarticles uh, as well. So, top ten at the minute. One, seven, two, four, three, four is in the lead. Let me know how you're doing with the, uh, when we do the leaderboard at the end. If you can help me with where, who, where you finished as well, drop me an email at the, the end of the quiz. That'd be really appreciated. Right, thinking? question three. An ultimate round, this, of course. Sheffield is situated on which major river? Sheffield is Wait, situated is on which major river? river? The Bramall. Yeah, time starts now. The Bramall River. Why in Bramall? We've had another donation. Yay, £10. Thank you. You could go to the Disneyland Fund. It's not going to Disneyland Fund. You can donate now to Leeds Cares at justgiving.com forward slash Chris Night. Quiz night. And every little bit of money helps for our Disneyland. Uh, a lot of you thought the Don, and it was the Don. Uh, 172434, you were the fastest. Wait, where's Mummy's Mummy? No. Twin PLC did very well, though. They're eighth in this round. Diego's Divas are ninth. Uh, next question. Don McLean's hit American Pie was a tribute to which singer? Don McLean's hit American Pie was a tribute to which singer? Your time starts now. When was this quiz put on? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Wait, what answer do you think it is? I know what the answer is. It's definitely that one. And I know what the answer is. It's definitely that one. It's all Richard. Right, 36 of you thought Buddy Holly, it was Buddy Holly. Uh, you always cut that song on the radio, of course. It's a very, the album version is very long. Your radio version makes no sense. It's, the, the album version is brilliant. Uh, right, question five. Buddy Bear and River Rocket are the sons of which TV chef? Buddy Bear, River Rocket are the sons of which TV chef? Your time starts now. Don't forget, dig deep, donate. There's your address there, right there on the screen. Move my finger, that's it. Just give me.com forward slash Chris and Eric, Quiz Night 13. Let's dig deep, let's get it. Let's get another 10 and make it 50 quid at least. Jamie Oliver was the most popular answer, and it was the right answer. Mommy was the fastest again. Come on, she's not even on the leaderboard. No, she's not on the leaderboard for this round, but well done, her indoors. Right, I think you might know this one, Eric. Stan and Oliver were the first names of which comedy duo? Who was we on about this morning that's not been on telly for ages? Right, Stan and Oliver were the first names of which comedy duo? Your time starts now. And uh, Stan, Stan would have been... Hail and Pace! 130 yesterday. Cannon and Bob! Cannon and Bob, rock on, Tommy! Uh, Hail and Pace! The management. Right, everyone's got Lauren and Hardy. How well would someone say Cannonball? I mean, uh, for those that said Cannonball, I salute you. Um, but it wasn't Stan Cannonball. Black Lives Matter! Team Hewitt, though, Racism. doing very well in this round. Uh, second place, Bertoff third. Figures. Diego Steve is having a good round as well. Uh, so, question seven Which film starred Tom Hannah Hardy as the Cray Twins? Which film starred Tom Hardy as the Cray Twins? Your time starts now. What? Oh, What's a that? lot's getting that very quickly. What's the next round, Dad? I'll have a look in a minute. So the football's underway again, 1-0 Manchester City. Uh, after this round, we'll, uh, we're just going to hear from Paul about the second half before we move on uh, to play round six. Because Paul's in his two videos. So we'll play Paul's second part 
Uh, right after round five, and then we'll do round six. Um, so 40 of you said legend. Well done, 172590. You were the fastest. Um, the leaderboard, well, Twen PLC second, Team Hewitt third, Bertoff's fourth. Any moment? No, Bradford, Bradford please. Ninth. Right. Quite a lot of people Question number eight. Know. Which reggae singer posthumously reached number one in 1984 with the greatest hits compilation, Legend? There should be a thief one right here. Like, now. What, what are icons? Uh, Eric Craven says, Eric Dominos will win us in the Around the World Europe. First time ever they've won a round. Well done, Eric and Anne-Marie. Really an impressed him. Uh, 47 of you said Bob Marley. Yeah. Um it was indeed Bob Marley. I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Um, of course, you know how he likes his donuts. We're jamming. Right, copyright Peter K. Which Can actress, you dare say that? Which actress starred in the film... You don't like jam, does he? You I don't like, you don't like jam. jam. Which actress starred in the film Marley and Me? Which actress starred in the film I Marley and Me? Jam. Right, ready? Time to ask now. Jennifer. A lot of you answering very quick there. 44 of you said Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston was right. 172465. You were the fastest. I think that mummy's going to finish in on like a top 10. Finish. You think mummy's going to finish what? Top 10 overall? We can't see you on the screen. Moving a bit. Peter fan uh, I don't know. We don't see the team names at the minute, do we? Next question. Mummy's liking the questions this week. Jennifer, is it easier? Well, I hope you're enjoying it at home. Let us know if you like the questions tonight. Of course, it's not flipped like last Sorry, week. Sorry, I can't help you. Jennifer Capriati was Olympic champion at which sport? Jennifer Capriati was an Olympic champion at which sport? Your time starts now. football, I mean... 35 of you said tennis very quickly. And you are Seven right. of you brought diving. But it was uh, tennis that she was an Olympic champion. Yeah, no diving football, everybody. Um, Mummy's finally on the leaderboard. Mummy is now tenth on the leaderboard. It might be too little, too late. Question eleven. Oh, which comedian wrote the books round at Mummy? If you don't get this right, oh my goodness, she's lucky with questions tonight. She's seen him at. Uh, uh, She's seen him with me at a book signing, Waterstones in Leeds. Which comedian wrote the books Round Island with a Fridge and playing the Moldovans at tennis? Got all his books signed upstairs. Your time starts now. I hate to say this, but this, uh, one, of the, one of the names on there is spelt wrong, but I'll tell you in a minute. Um, I reckon it's a Tony Hawk. Right. Tony Hawk is spelt wrong on there because there was a skateboard. There's a skateboarder called Tony Hawk. The author is Tony Hawks. Uh, I'll tell you that. Um, but anyway, 22 of you said Tony Hawks. It was Tony Hawks. If you have never read Round Island with the Fridge, it is a brilliant book. Playing the Mold Ovens at Tennis is a great book as well. Oh, just fine! Uh, Irving Dose was the fastest. Well, Can you go on the leaderboard? Uh, she, can she get on the leaderboard? I don't know. Team Hewitt did very well there. Fourth, Bertoff second. Mummy's going for a top 10 tonight. I think it could happen. Final question in this round. Evil question. Which actor... Yes, Mummy's sober. She's doing well. She's not a drink. A lone drinker. Right. Which actor starred in the 1990s film Hudson Hawk? Mummy knows this one. Time starts now. Imagine if she gets this. Mummy, can you make it a third play? The answer is no. Right, okay. I don't think Mummy will make it to third place. I mean, probably top ten finish. Right. One of, five of you thought Gerard Butler. Oh, uh, by the way, get that, get that film uh, No, no, it wasn't Gerard Butler. No, I'll tell you the answer was Bruce Willis. Mummy, oh, Twin PLC were the fastest. Um, and it looks oh, like Guess 7, 172434 won that she round. Bert off second. Uh, Ermin Dorse sixth at the end of that round. Team Hewitt fourth. Twin PLC third. Smarticles had a good round in ninth. Uh, so well done. That's the end of that round. Well done. Right, we're just going to... Well done to... That says round four. I'm pretty sure that was round five. We are now just going to go and play our second part of our Sheffield United and Aston Villa review. Thanks to Paul for sending this. Uh, and over to Paul. Now if we can get it working. So we've got the second half now. I uh, did my usual match ritual. So before the match commenced, I had a pint. Uh, halfway time, I had uh, a pie. And second half, I was sipping away on my bottle. 
So with the football itself, for the second half, we decided we were going to start and watch it on Sky <laughs> with the alternative. I thought we could do a bit of penalty. Uh, part with watching the first half as entirety with the stadium sound. It sounded great. We started the second half watching it with how it will sound for the footballers out there, and it, it was just deathly silent. So there was just no atmosphere. Uh, why they haven't put more crowd sound into the ground, I don't know. Uh, so we quickly decided we went back to the stadium sound that uh, Sky Rocker on 401. Uh, as terms of for that itself, for the first 25 minutes, uh, Villa by far had the strongest oh, of the game. Uh, one real effort on goal where one of the Villa players crossed it. Uh, most of by Pastine Henderson who played goalie. Uh, open goal there, but unfortunately one of the Villa players couldn't get his head to it in time. Uh, it should have probably been at that point 1 0 to, to Villa. Uh, both teams made a couple of substitutes around the 70 minute mark. Um, it has to be said that the Blades substitute probably had the most effect. For the remainder of the match, um, they certainly had the stronger of the play. Uh, sadly, it had, was probably too late, and the, the match ended up nil-nil. Um, in terms of whether that was a fair result, overall, uh, Villa played extremely well. They probably have a lot to... They probably would be feeling um, that they deserved at least a point. It can be argued that they were very lucky towards the end of the first half to have gone in one-nil not 1-0 down, and uh, therefore it would have stayed that way. Um, but certainly moving forward in the season, I know I've got a couple of friends who are doing the quiz tonight, Ian and uh, Ethan, they'll probably be satisfied that they've come away from today with a point. It's not enough to take them out of the relegation zone just yet, but it gives them a lot of focus of how they really can pursue going on in the season. As for the Blades, they wanted three points today, which would have taken them up to European places. Uh, as it was, one point enough to move them into sixth place. Both teams are back in action again on Sunday, uh, with Blades travelling up to Newcastle and Villa staying at home with Villa Park, where they're going to be welcoming Chelsea. Both needs to get at least three points out of this if um, Villa are going to survive relegation and the Blades are going to make it up into Europe. Enjoy the quiz, everyone. Good luck to all teams. And back to Chris and Eric. And a round of applause to Paul there. Thank you. Give it ever. Amazingly, in the football, it's 2 0 to Man City. Kennedy has scored a penalty and there's been a red card by David Lee. How crazy is that? It is indeed. Um, Alan Fieldsend says they just finished some Walker's Max Strong Jalapeno and Cheese Crisp. Delicious, but breathing fire now. <laughs> I bet you are, Alan. Uh, but good choice. Oh, anyone having a whiskey out there? Whiskey Wednesday? Um, so, a reminder, thanks to Paul for the video. And uh, for those that have only got Freeview, the first match on Freeview, if you want to watch Premier League, is Friday on Freeview Channel 11. Pick the show in Norwich and Southampton. Uh, and if you want more info, have a look at our Sport on TV video, which is on our channel that we've recorded earlier in the week, and it'll tell you all the football that's on uh right that's us uh so don't forget a reminder before the final round you can sign up for the weekly smartphone quiz right there email christy benson at hotmail.co.uk 10 pounds a month that's all it's 250 a week uh and if you sign up you've got till the first of july to sign up for the first period um uh, that's the first window so and then if you do that i'll send over your registration form and everything you need to know um we're going to do the weekly wednesday quiz like we do and a monthly pen and paper quiz as well thank you to everyone who's signed up so far if you haven't sent your registration forms back, make sure you get them done uh, in the next week or so as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Right, Eric, should we do the next round? Famous people. Wait, it said round four. He did say round four, but it's not. Round six, final round, famous people. Right. Um, so, question number one. Who was Chancellor of the Exchequer throughout Tony Blair's tenure as Prime Minister? So he was Chancellor of the Exchequer whilst Tony Blair was Prime Minister. Your time starts now, Again, I'm not tired. Wait well, to tell you, Eric, it's half nine and it is nearly your bedtime, but. Um, Wait, what? But that was very quick, wasn't it? Very quick. And the answer is. Well, what do you think the answer David is? David Blunker. It's not, it's Gordon Brown. Aww. Well done, though. 172, 572. Right. Irving Dawes, though, does. was second fastest. Right, question two. Which singer was called Old Blue Eyes? Okay, which singer was called Old Blue Eyes? Your time starts now. 
I like this format, so... It's good for us. We can see who who's answering what answers now. So I hope it's all worked out for you tonight. If there's any questions, or please let me know. And what I will do on the Pub Quiz at Home Facebook group this week, and via emails and that, I will give you the instructions to register properly so you're all uh, accessible to Quizbit for next week as well. Um, so... If you want me to, uh, right, the Frank Sinatra was the most popular answer, Eric, and it was Frank Sinatra. Erin Dawes was the fastest. Erin Dawes takes the lead. What is going on tonight? Imagine if Mummy does this. She's at Benny's Bar. Hello, Benny's Bar. I wonder where that is in Southport. Benny's Bar, sixth place in this round. Question we three. Had a rabbit called Benny and Obviously, Frank Sinatra fans in Benny's Bar. Which actress won a Best Actress Oscar for her performance in the movie Silver Linings Playbook? Wait, was it which Oscar actress that won, won the Best Actress Oscar? For her performance in the movie Silver Line. I've never heard of it. I have no idea. It's time to ask now. It's Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, we've got a good video, though. Oh, that's. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, it might not work. That's a good video. We'll, we'll try and get... Oh, we're not... Let's see. I have to try and get hold it to the screen. Jennifer Lawrence was the most popular answer, and Jennifer Lawrence was right. Look at this. Move it in. That's Derek the Hedgehog mentioned from last week. Do you... Look at that. That's been sent. That's Derek the Hedgehog. Look at that. The cutest thing. Look at that. Here we are as Derek makes his way around the table... Looking for food. Oh, he's wonderful. He's so cute. Hello to Derry. I've got money everywhere. Yeah, there you are. Hello to Derry. Right. And then moving on. So that was question three. Question four. Which funny man is married to comedian Lucy Beaumont? Wait, that means Which that... funny man is married to comedian Lucy Beaumont? Your time starts now. The answer is right in this room. It's him. Mummy's name is not I don't really need it. A lot are getting that right. A lot are getting that right. John Richardson. Uh, anyway, don't forget, you can still donate tonight to Leeds Cares at justgiving.com. Of course, that's Chris and Eric. Quiz night 13. Uh, Every little helps. All going to a fantastic cause. And thanks to Lauren for suggesting that. Um, so, John Richardson is the most popular answer. Eric. And is it the answer? Is it the answer? Yes, yes. it is. Uh, four team teams managed to answer. Team Hewitt second. Mummy's been Mommy's first. Dropped off. But we also have household send that okay. um, tenth on there. So John, um, John and Julia, did you manage to get in eventually? Earlier? I hope you did. Let me know. Uh, which famous artist created the Rolling Stones logo? There's your Wait, answers. Is that a oh, start the clock. Oh, 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 no. I was a bit trigger happy there with the button. Never mind. You are so funny. There you go. Oh, 39 men for Andy Warhol. It was Andy it's Warhol. All by myself was the um, fastest answer bad. there. Bertoff's in eighth. Right, next question. All by myself. Who frequently says on TV, you haven't found that all important, pointless answer? All right. You, uh, time starts now. No biscuits, yeah, Derek, no biscuits for Derek this week by the looks of it. No biscuits. Still 2 0 in the football. And remember, Arsenal are down to 10 men. Uh, Alexander Armstrong uh, was the most popular answer 47. Well done. 172, 464. You were the fastest. Um, and the answer was wait, imagine there's Alexander Armstrong. Okay. Which actress shaved her head for a role in the film G.I. Jane? She shaved the red. She did. Which actress shaved her head for a role in the film G.I. Jane? Your time starts now. What does that mean? She went bold. Yeah. A girl. What answer is it? Well, I'll have to wait and see what how. What answer, answer do you think, Coins? I think it's that one there. And the coin's got the most answers. No, I do know the answer to that one. Um, and is it that? 34 said Demi Moore. 8 said Natalie Portman. The and the answer, answer is Demi was Moore. Demi Moore. Uh, Bertoff's eighth, Team Heward second. Mommy. Remember, this is the last round, and all the scores at the end will be added up. We'll stay online just for a few minutes afterwards.
Uh, so if you can email where you finished, that'd be great because obviously we, then it'll help us to correspond with which teams finished where. So if you can email and let us know what your positions are uh, once the leader. Well, is he talking around, about the A team at Which singer? Which number three in the charts with his debut single, the A team? Okay. It's nothing to do with George Peppard or Mr. T. Nothing to do with Tom, the Tom, Tom, Lauren says she's 172466. Uh, oh, you're winning this round, Lauren? Hey, well done, Lauren. Lauren's winning this round. Brilliant. We'll look out for you in the leaderboard. Brilliant. Uh, you lose track with all the emails coming through. But absolutely brilliant. Well done. Um, Ed Sheeran was most popular. 3 0. It's not 3 0. Um, Ed Sheeran was right. Uh, Ju Julia Radcliffe says, We are in, uh, but with the catchy name, guest 172659. Hello to the Holtz, the Hibberts, the Chowdhury's, and the Lums. Um, Everyone's got that right. It doesn't matter. You know what? Everyone might have random names this week, but we're in. And I'll we'll make sure if you read your Facebook pub quiz at home this week, make sure you uh, you like that group, and we'll make sure that we email as many email addresses as we've got with the registration instructions. We'll get as many people with a name for next week. <gasps> Which striker won a golden boot at the 2018 World Cup? Which what? striker? Oh, it knows this. Why do I think he knows this? Which striker won the golden boot at the 2018 World Cup? Everyone's gonna get this. I mean, okay, let's the time just see what we have to now. Okay, uh, Ah, uh, everyone's going to first what I know. Why are people going with Ronaldo? I mean, you only made it to the round 16. Well, um, 36 have got that right. I tell you, the answer is Harry Kane. And I help Mummy do that one. Come Her on. indoors was the fastest. Uh, you haven't lifted Mummy just... into the top. You haven't lifted Mummy into the top 10, though, Harry Kane, to tell you that. Wait, what <laughs> round is this? Which British businessman frequently tells no. aspiring entrepreneurs on his TV show, you're fired? You said, Who is it? Your time starts now. No, Mummy actually said, is it Harry Kane? Oh, it's so a mummy. Mummy was questioning it. I said, yeah. "Well, forty-eight. Have you got that really quick?" One said, "Duncan oh, Bannatyne." The answer was Alan Sugar, of course. Alan uh, Sugar. One seven two four wait, six five. Uh, wait, is he actually covered with it? No, he's not covered in sugar. No, no, no. Um, right. That's the end of the round, Whoa. and the winners of that round were Lauren one seven two four six six round of applause. Well done to the Bertos eighth, twenty PLC tenth, um, Team Hewitt second. second. Uh, so we're going to find out how you've done. What I'm going to do um, well, is the let's... scores. Uh, we're going to you'll see the scores on there. So we'll, we'll read out some names. If you, I'll give you a few minutes to email, and I'll just put a caption up whilst we um, wait for some emails to come in. Uh, so if you can email Chris C. Benson at hotmail.co.uk with where you've finished that'd be fantastic so let's see who has won the winners tonight are, is the Bertoffs how oh, I did not think it'd be the Bertoffs I did not think it'd be the Bertoffs because you've not really been first or second but hey just shows you the Bertoffs round of applause and you've come seventh out of everyone that's played the quiz tonight one how seven two six one five finish second so let me know one seven two six one five you finish second we can't do one seven two four five do. eight was third team Heward was sixth 20 PLC was nine. Email me. Let me know where you finished. I'm just going to put a caption up whilst we wait for some emails. So um, let's just put a caption up so I can talk just one share, minute. Can we share the Eric, tell, let's just tell everyone a little bit about that. So why should everyone join in with the quiz from July the 8th? Why, why should they join in? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you in the background. Send in your emails to chrisbenson at hotmail.co.uk. Amanda says, I came 50th today. Well done, Amanda. Give Amanda a round of applause. Um, yeah. Mum and Dad over in Astley, they came 7th. Round of applause to Grandma and Grandad. Well done. Very good scores. There's all the details. You've got to take a screenshot. That is how many quizzes you get for the first one. Six quizzes. I'm nearly made the top 10. And where did you finish, Nine. Mummy? Oh, Mummy finished 11th there with her indoors. Round of applause for her indoors. Absolutely brilliant. 11th for her indoors. Let me know where you finished. So there's the details for Paul Quiz at home from the 8th of July. Send me an email and I'll send you the registration details. Chris C. Benson at hotmail.co.uk. Let me know where you finished. You can email now. Bert Bertoff's well done. I, I did not. You, oh, Anne Marie and Eric said uh, fourth. What a performance. We loved today's questions. I'm getting good feedback about today's questions. They seem to be a bit easier. Is that the, the consensus? Well, I haven't got anyone, yeah. they a, bit, a lot of people were answering them really quick as well, which is good. 
Um, Tony and Carol finished 26. Well done, Carol and Tony. Give them a round of applause. And Rachel Sober, which probably has helped a little bit uh, as well. Um, oh, Louise Callahan, the Francophiles, a.k.a. 172458, the team formerly known as the Francophiles, were third... Third of the national league. round of applause. Well done, the, Cal uh, the Frank of Well done. Well, the Ten Eleven. Uh, we'll just wait a couple of minutes to see if there's any more uh, emails coming in. Do let me know how you scored. Chrissy Benson at Hotmail. Wait, how uh, did they finish? And if you'd still like to wait. donate, you can donate any time after how? the quiz at just justgiving.com forward slash Chris and Eric Quiz Night 13. Next week we'll be raising how? money for how the Joe Cox Foundation. Uh, Grandma says uh, that Grandma Charlie was on fire tonight. Um, so, uh, oh, Paul uh, and Lou say uh, the Bradford Blades 15th, 15th this week. Absolutely brilliant. Best by a long way. Oh, that'll, that'll make up for the Sheffield United performance, Paul, won't it? Um, uh, so I hope we all enjoyed it. Um, there's a reminder of the subscription details on the screen for you. Uh, we're back on Sunday for the pen and paper quiz. Uh, and as I say, look out on the Facebook group uh, I will put an event out for next week, but I'll also put how to register in a step-by-step -step guide once I've worked it out. <laughs> uh, and I'll also email you with the details as well. So you get all of those quizzes? quizzes? You get all of them quizzes for a tenner, Eric, yes. Do you think that's good value? No. No! <laughs> I mean, you want your people to be like, Joining quite a lot of time, so that, that, that's like what do you have for two bits? That's like, like two, but two beers, or if you got, I don't know, I'll say like drop it for like two beers. Well, I, I meant like supermarket, not like a pub. What supermarket are you going to? I don't know, home bargains. I mean, I don't know, I'll do. Do know. Anyway, that is it. We'll put the screen on so you can all wave. There we go, saying. Eric, waving the waving there. Oh, they can't see you. There they go. There we go. He's not tired. He's not tired. Thank you all for playing. We'll be back next Wednesday at 8 with our 14th of all this. Uh, Sunday for the pen and paper quiz. Have a very good week. And uh, the latest score before we go is 2-0 to Manchester City. From all of us, good night. See you soon.